We've had a few questions about the boat, so I figure I'd make a video because it's a little bit easier to explain. So here's the boat. This one's a bit rough. This is one of the first prototypes, but it's the, the smaller powered one in the video. Here's the business end of the throttle control. So that's the salt water. We haven't bothered to clean it. So basically you've got forward and then reverse. I'll take that off in a sec. This is a little battery meter. I haven't got any batteries plugged in at the moment. This is a 24 volt unit, but that gives you a battery voltage. And the, when the lead acid is in this one, this is this particular one's lead acid, 24 volts. When the batteries get low, it'll um, cut out automatically. Here's the motor and the controller. So this is on eBay. You'd find these as a scooter motor uh, for electric scooters. There's the controller that matches it. This one's 24 volts, 500 watts. This one's a good little putt around chain drive. I think that's one to one or, or close to. We haven't really mucked around with ratios on this boat that much and um, it chugs along quite nicely. So there's, well, there's lots of wires here. It's a bit hard to explain. Um, but basically to the throttle controller, you have zero to five volts. Five volts is full throttle. On these, zero is zero throttle. So anywhere between zero and five gives you a, uh, a ratio of your throttle. Now, where am I? So this thing here, this is, I'm very impressed with this. A um, little bit mechanically complex, but um, surprisingly we've had zero issues with it. Yeah, with the next line of boats we're going to make, this will be, um, electronic microcontroller just to simplify the wiring because there's um, a little bit going on here. Um, so you've got two switches when you're at zero throttle. Your two switches are centered. When you go into reverse, your two, when you go into reverse, your two switches are clicked to one direction. That does two things. That reverses your motor polarity here with this cross, uh, these crossovers and then it also selects which potentiometer you got one potentiometer there one here it selects which potentiometer for the uh, to be read so because from 0 to 100 or 0 to 100 something something along those lines so reverse will be reading one potentiometer and the motor polarity will be reversed so full throttle reverse. Bringing it forward, zero, everything's zeroed. Forward, your motor polarity will be um, in the direction it was intended, I suppose you'd call it. And you'd be looking at that potentiometer instead. The brushless motors that we've got on the faster boat, they use three wires instead of two. Uh, for main power as well as um, a series of wires for the sensors because they're a sensored brushless motor. So uh, this system for brushless, not not ideal, doable, but uh, too complex. I might as well just program up a microchip and have a microchip do it all. Uh, then it can be epoxied, waterproofed, you can update firmware. Um, there's a lot of upsides to it and that's where, where it's going to go. The boat itself, you might notice this one's a bit rough to finish. This was um, rushed for Christmas for our kids, so my dad sort of got me to help. Basically just smash the final finish out and I went a bit crazy with the sander. Um, dad does some quite nice finishes like these guys. These are, um, yeah, brass bits he just makes up because that's what he likes to do. The seats, yeah, little cushion padded seats. I um I fit in this boat quite hilariously, but um I think it's a, a good goof to get out putting about in it. This is the 500 watt 24 volt unit uh, running lead acid batteries. The faster boat you might have seen is a 2000 watt uh, 60 volt, and I was had a series of lithium batteries in that um, in a battery pack I've made. Key switch. 
This um, chain drive system works well. We've had zero problems with it. A little bit noisy though, so we're going to put a belt drive system in the newer one. Uh, that gear's all downstairs ready to go. On our next boat, we are thinking about putting the motor, speed controller, you've got your gearing, which will be uh, belt drive rather than chain drive, your prop, your shaft, even your rudder, all into one plated section where you could cut just a simple hole in the bottom of the boat and then flush mount all this into the bottom of the boat to the underside of the boat. So it'll just be one unit that you just plug in. Um, electronics at the front would be all digital. You just plug that into the motor section that you plug in the back. Uh, the rudder can be incorporated into the motor section and are servo controlled if need be. So you simply connect your drive system, including the rudder. And then up on the front end, you connect your throttle assembly. Just a single plug, digital plug, as well as your steering wheel can be mounted anywhere, connected to a digital receiver. And it sends all these signals via a single set of wires such as this, back down to the business end of the boat. So you have your battery connection to a bolt-on motor drive assembly inboard, running the nice small props, wherever that may be. And then on the front end, we can have a nice cleaned up version of this with a very simplistic wiring. Same with the steering wheel. Um, no cables, just plug it in, easy.